Barrel notes. Barrel notes. What is it? Can't make your writing. Oh, narrow boat wheel. Here we are at the wonderful Anderton. Boat wheel! Are you all going down? No, we're cracking on. Signals. Hello, hello mate, you're alright? Signals very poor here. I've never seen so many narrow boaters all lined up. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, mate. Oh, this is the Anderton boat lift. It's a stunning place. This is absolutely stunning. That's the lift. Anderton boat lift. A few years ago, I went down this lift, and I tell you what, the experience was unbelievable. But at the moment, I've got to uh, get up north. So seeing the lift this time, I have to miss it. Ripeth. Amazing place. I came here a few years ago, I've done the lift, been onto the Weaver. Two bags of shopping, one on my back. A bag of shopping, £61 for two bags. I mean, it's expensive stuff, I've just got normal shopping that I normally get bananas, blueberries. <sighs> Didn't get any coffee or anything. Just for dinner, just dinner for me and Leon. And, uh, Salad, chicken was 450. 61 quid, blimey. It's gone crazy, hasn't it? All these poor families, you know, big families that uh, go to the shop and they're buying ever decreasing quality foods just to get by. So you can see why this obesity is going through the roof. People just can't afford decent grub, you know what I mean? I'm going down that road. Oh, this is steep. It's a steep hill. Oh, it doesn't look steep on camera. I know it doesn't. But believe me, it is. I'm panting. <sighs> See? I've proved it. It's a pretty section, this, isn't it? Apart from that bit, it's nice. Apart from the landslide, it's not bad. And the rickety bridge, it looks all right. And the tree's falling in, it's not too bad. Apart from all this stuff in the water, you know, in the pass, it's not, it's not that bad. Apart from the slop and the sludge, I think it's all right. Apart from the thousands of dogs go everywhere, it's not too bad. Beautiful Northwich. 
back here again, look. After all this time, repairs. Came here a couple of years ago. I'm going to rush to get this bus because I'm going to miss it otherwise. Lovely little area this is. To change my daughter's front brakes on her little Yaris. I've already serviced it. Um, Just little snippets, you know what I mean? They're low, aren't they? This is my story with the hot water. Just pop your bonnet. What is this? See that look? Here's your brakes, babe, yeah? She's scared to talk. <laughs> look, look, she's desk hanging off, look. She's scared to talk on camera. Not hanging off. <laughs> That's that scrape thing I was talking about there, look. When it gets down to that level here, it'll start going <laughs> on, your, on your discs. See how low they are? Look. Where'd you get them from? Euro car parts, that's what came up when I said. Wrong one, let's take this old one in. Well, how far is it? New pads are nothing like the old pads. It's classic, isn't it? Classic. This is my new, this is my new part for the van. It's not colour coded yet. I'm putting it on just so there's a new clips. It's nice, isn't it? 20 quid. Just gives it a bit more. Je ne sais quoi, je ne vive, je te sais, a little bit of vavum, je ne sais, je ne sais quoi. Look at the difference in what you got left on there compared to a new one lot. Wow, just shows you, doesn't it? How important, these are, these are designed actually to, that's your wear limit marker there, so when your pads get so low it starts scraping on the disc. So if you've got squeaky brakes, that's probably why. Now it's this car's turn. I've done the brakes on that other one. Now it's this one. You can see there, the exhaust is split. She's getting rid of it, so I'm just going to put a collar on it. She's getting a new car next week, so just get it on. Just get it roadworthy. Not, it's not getting a new exhaust, 300 quid. So I've got a, it's got a bandage. Put three Jubilee clips on it, be fine. It's better than what it was. This is Hartford Golf Course, and if you're into golf, a lot of you aren't, I know, but isn't this a beautiful par three lot? 180 yards it's playing, with an elevation of about, what's that, 40 feet downhill? 50 feet? It's got to be 50, 60 feet, hasn't it? It's a big drop. And there's Leon lot, that's the drop. It's only what was it? Sixteen quid for two of us. Yeah, no, sixteen quid each. Si sixteen quid each. Sorry. I got a little deal. I've got a little deal. So yeah, we're right next to it. We're only a couple of miles up the road. More next to the van. Glovey, filthy thumbs up, rippers. We've uh, we've been in this spot for three or four days now on this section. Four or five days altogether. Time to go now. I've got to go to the River Link. Got a month to get there, ah! which is through Grand Manchester towards Liverpool, all around that area, uh, up to the where they joined the link, Ribble Link. So, you know, I thought it was the end of April, but it's not. It's April the 7th, I'm booked in, so I've got less time than what I thought. Oh, you better hurry up, haven't you? I know. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. I'm hurrying up. Bloody hell. Here we go, ready. There we are, look. 
Got three tunnels to do today. Three tunnels to about 400, 450 metres and one's 1,200 metres. Preston Brook. That's the destination. This is Barnton Tunnel. Barnton Tunnel. Uh, and it is 525 metres or 1,722 feet ripping. Took this chimney down. Very, very tight corners here on this. Bridge 201. First bridge of the day. Lovely. Lovely height on the hill. All oh, the steps we shopping. Oh, bloody hell. Why do you buy a bloody house up here, Mavis? Oh, it's nice views. Have a look at the steps for shopping, love. Oh. Oh right. There we go into the abyss. In the middle of this one I think there's a little dink in the middle, I can see it. They didn't quite meet in the middle, the, the tunnel builders. Oh. Hey? Go press the hole. Yeah. Believe it, bridge 204. When you when you watch my intros, my intro is filmed here. You know that that intro is, is many years ago. I decided to buy a narrowboat, and on that narrowboat I decided to live. And I decided to live on the narrowboat, on the boat, on the canals, and travel around the country. You know that one. Wow, I'm back here again. I've come full circle after all this time. I was more just here. Oh, blimey. I was going to go. 
go down the Anderton boat lift. Again, I've done it before. I mean, I've got the previous vlogs if you want to see that. Also, fabulous, beautiful construction. I didn't have time to go in it this time. I had to go and see my daughter. She had um, to moor up and go and see my daughter. She just had a baby. Bless her. So we're up and down, back and forth to Blackpool, seeing the kids. So I don't have time this time to go to under down the Anderton boat lift. And we've got a crack on. We've only got a month to get up to Ribble Link. It's only about 20 minutes in the car. We've got to go all the way around, all the way around, and all the way up to South Manchester and all around there. You just never know what's going to turn up. You just never know what's going to happen, you know. You just, you're better off just getting there and then waiting for a couple of weeks. Bridge 207. Oh, what do you say, like? Because it's, it's such a hit and miss subject isn't it bridge numbers you get this oh look at that. that's nice in there it's like a church not a barn there's lovely windows in there yeah it's a boring subject for some people so you just say it in a boring voice bridge 207 just imagine i'm not saying all train spotters are like that but you can imagine with their anoraks on they were always depicted weren't they with their glasses and their anoraks in the old comedies and stuff i'm a train spotter and all that as I got older, it's, it's a fascinating subject. The beautiful machines, I think. You're knackered now, aren't you? That stop lock, eh? About three inch deep. Virtually just push the gates open without even letting the water out. <laughs> oh, I'm, still, I'm just absolutely freezing. It's still cold. This is the this is the long tunnel, 1,200 yards, and you have to wait for your turn. But two boats just gone in, so we're going to follow them in. So perfect timing, really. All these all these tunnels today they've already gone in we're just going to follow them behind about five minutes behind them welcome to Trenton Mersey Canal this is the end of it now this is all the bridge water I think this is Preston Brook Tunnel bridge number 214 and it's 1138 meters or 3733 feet Woohoo! Here we go. Shall we put the lights on? That's almost the full goal. Put the lights on. No, they're not on, are they? No, they weren't yeah. on. They are. Oh, they are, no? No, they weren't. They are now, aren't they? They're on now, yeah. Look at these air vents coming up. Look how deep these are. Going left and right, left and right. It looks much better through the camera than it does in real life. I know, yeah. Isn't it? Incredible, really. All this, all this engineering is amazing. All done in the 17, 1800s. Very wonky. Blue bricks, the looks of it. Right, it's like a reinforced section here. Navigation limit, Bridgewater Canal license. Oh. 
Oh, oh look what your license got, got to book in. You're only allowed a week on here, you know. You are. You've got, got to book in. You're only allowed a week they, on here. You can grow up. You'd be loading and unloading. Oh, yeah, you would have had a lift up there. A lift up there, yeah. Yeah. You'd load it on too. It was all crooked last time I came here. It's. Well, they might have done something about it. They have, they have done something about it. it. Looks like they've done it up. Yeah, it's been done up. Pretty little area, look at that. It's like a prison though. It's like a prison. Yeah, look at that. It's like a bit like a prison, isn't it? Bars on well, there's a fire and you're stuck inside, you can't smash them in to get out. So you was, you'll be able to kick them off. The, the you reckon? You'll be obliged to kick them off, yeah. So yeah, they trap behind that. Oh, bitter, isn't it? I look forward to getting inside and getting warm, mate. Train spotters! Up here, isn't it? Water tower up there, look. Amazing construction. More oh, train spotters! <laughs> Trains going all around here. That is a stalactite that fell off. That fell off the uh, roof of that tunnel. Look at that. Now it's formed. Wow! Solid lime scale, is it? I was just talking. I was just talking in there. State my nails, lot, just put the fire. Just talking in there about about how long it takes for that to fall. And I've just unblocked my sink in the in the bathrooms. It's full of lime scale. You know. So that's only in a couple of years, I reckon. Completely blocked. Um, weird, isn't it? Why has that happened? All my, all my plug was covered in lime, so I had to scrape it all off. And um, you think to yourself, oh, I'm drinking all that, bloody hell, all the minerals and stuff. What lime scale? Um, so it might even take a couple of years to form those wind, the stalactites, the stalactites, the mites come down, the tights go up. The tights come down, the mites go up, don't they? So it could be a couple of years even for those. Constant dripping. There we are, George Gleaves Bridge. Very nice job as well, George, you did there. Look at that tower looming in the background. Dominating the landscape, isn't it? area this is, isn't it? You can't moor up though, there's no moorings or anything. Really nice wide canal, it's very clean and tidy. Very pleasing to the eye area. Well, this here is the, uh, is the innovation center. The total innovation. It's the center of it. You innovate the center of. It's a green zone as well, it's a green zone, it's innovative, greeny, and pleasing to look at. You keep saying that now, I can't think of anything else really. Nice. star again narrowboat life unlocked wonderful channel it really is it does some lovely art and of course he's a magician by trade we've moored here for a reason it's because we are playing golf here <laughs> this is Walton Hall Golf Club a 
is now Leon. Well, we've been here at Walton Hall God. for what night? We played golf this morning and now we're ready to leave. Got it really, I think. Think that game of golf this morning then? Oh, wasn't that bad? I was actually. Do you want to play with me next time? No, oh, come on. Maybe, all right, good. don't they? Look at the roof slates lot, huge things. Bolt coming. He's flying along lot, isn't he, eh, Rippers? You've got the wonderful hall here, look at look at those honeycomb bee wasp nests there. Oh my god, look at the beauty of them. Aren't they stunning? Nature, you know, a nature's just symmetrical. Can you zoom out? I'm going to right, give me a chance of steering. There we are. Not better, thanks. Yeah, nature sometimes. I mean, the, the bees, their honeycomb, that's so symmetrical. They design everything. It's just incredible. It's my incredible voice. This is incredible, isn't it? Such a lovely little area, this. You go over there and you can go visiting. They go visit anywhere, I know. Do you know what? I just don't fancy visiting anywhere. I've got, I've got, past two weeks, I've not felt on top form, to be honest. I've just a bit tired. And I've not been, you know, you're not like, you've got this spring in your step. We felt like that for a few weeks, you know. Not been eating very well, and uh, I feel like having any dinners, full dinners and stuff, that kind of thing. I'm sleeping well, but just not feeling. I've got spring in my step, got a few stomach cramps and things like that. I don't know what's going on. Um, well, get yourself checked out. Get a finger up your bum. I don't want a finger up your bum, thank you. I'd rather not get the fingers up there. Typical bloke, in it. Just carry on and. Just Oh, everything will be alright, your legs hanging off. You know, your back's covered in humps and bumps. Oh, so it'll be fine, it'll just wear its way out. What was I talking about? I'm waffling, sorry. This is the wonderful and gorgeous Bridgewater Canal. And every, every boater I talk to, they'd say, Oh, you've been on the Bridgewater, it's beautiful. And I say, I have been on the Bridgewater, and it is beautiful. You are correct. I don't disagree with them, I don't argue. I don't say, no, it's not, no, it is very nice. And I do totally agree with all the people that say it's a very nice canal so far. Good for that person flying the British flag. It's so, not be ashamed of where you live. Do you know what I mean? Don't be ashamed. Love this country. Mostly. Riding the thermals there. Remember when I was on the ooze, you see thousands of rooks and crows, oh, cawing in the mornings. Beautiful to see them. 